Not gonna lie, this music never gets old for me. I love it so much. Nearly eight years ago, nine years ago now, holy crap, nearly nine years ago uh, is when I stepped in to the Wizard 101 scene. And uh, by far, life has been my favorite class to play. This is my original Ice Wizard. Haven't done much with him since uh, Dragon Spire back in 2009, but you know he's here. <laughs> he's uh, he's probably always going to be around as a reminder of my fresh beginnings. But unfortunately for him, I am a life, life for life. That's what I go by. I really do appreciate everyone that uh, that comments on my videos, um, even the spam bots. But you know, um, I do really want to try and record as often as possible. But with work being uh, so busy, uh, it is extremely difficult for me to find the time to uh, to sit down and play, um, especially. You know, it's just kind of boss grinding, so, you know, I, I might, <clears throat> I'll be out of state for like two to four days a week, and then the other few days that I actually have is just a massive, massive grind to, uh, you know, to try and get some content, um, so, uh, my only criticism, um, to a person uh, whose name I am not even going to try to pronounce um, is that you, uh, you you misspelled your there it should be it should be uh, that that just take that out take the apostrophe out and, and you're golden right just like that so so yeah um, let's get to it how's it going everyone Kelly bro here bringing you another Wizard 101 update video. Now, this is my mob set. Obviously, you saw it in the previous update video. This is my, you know, overall set for, you know, good block, good crit. You know, kind of just a very well-rounded wizard. And we have my energy set, which brings me up to 269 energy. But, we now have an update on my healing set. So, um, I've changed all of my gear to look exactly the same. Um, let's actually pop this on. So this is one of the few changes that I've made to my gear. Um, I was wicked lucky on the Warlord Manak boss fight in Polaris. I think it took me four or five tries to get the Mammoth Mini. It gives me an extra 2% outgoing on my healing set, which is excellent. Um, but I ended up doing some research for all this. So obviously Mammoth Mini is one of the few mounts that gives a secondary, um, a secondary stat boost, uh, such as outgoing or, you know, pierce and uh, stuff like that. So I got that. Um, Jade Hood of Mystery, you know, the robes are still the same, staff still the same, the Athame is the Dark Woman's Dagger. Now, <laughs> I kind of, I'm kind of cringing to myself because I didn't know that this Athame had this kind, like, these kind of stats. Now, I spent like a week and a half of my life farming Yevgeny for like three or four times a day. You know, trying to get um, the second Darkmoor's Thorn, which I ended up getting. And instead of having those two Pierce Jewels that you see up there, I had um, the two 6% outgoing Jewels. So, after doing some research, I found that the Dark Woman's Dagger gives more outgoing. 8% uh, more, to be exact. So, I farmed Morganth for about 30 times, and I finally got it. So, you know, I got some good jewels on that. 
I've got a max health gem. 2% 6 outgoing. Percent 6? 6% 6 outgoing. <laughs> and 12% accuracy to um, really power through on some pigsies. The Athamus, ah, uh, not the Athame. I'm getting all jumbled up today. The Amulet is still the same, Rasputin's Charm, with 12% incoming altogether. And my ring, Stone of the Other Side. Um, I had the level 98 ring, I think. It was either the level 98 or 88 ring um, that gave 36% outgoing. But, it didn't have a circle jewel. So, the base stats, if you don't have any jewels on it whatsoever, the base stats are the best. But, if you can um, either, you know, get a socket for it, um, or pay the 75 crowns, which I ended up paying crowns because I didn't have a master's uh, socket wrench. I only had artisans. Um, once you get those unlocked, you can put 6% uh, outgoing on this, which brings it up to... 39% outgoing um, along with the health jewel on there um, it makes it better than the level 98 ring uh, so those are the three main gear changes that I had for this set uh, once again the Athame is the dark woman's dagger now the ring is stone of the other side I forget who I farmed it from uh, it was someone underwater but um, it's in Avalon for that and the Mammoth Mini, like I said, I got from Warlord Manak after about four tries and uh, was wicked happy for that. So what does this mean for my gear? Um, as you see, my damage and resistance stays just about the same. Uh, resistance definitely stays the same. I wanted to make sure of that. Uh, my advanced statistics, um, I lose one percentage point on my block rating because of the ring, I think. Um, brought me down like 20 something points so it's whatever um, obviously I lose some incoming heal because of the uh, Dark Morse Athame will give 12 incoming but I have nearly a hundred percent outgoing so uh, that essentially means um, I crit heal every time so something that that's important for life especially as a support character is that you can either go for 800 critical rating which will at level 120 give you 100% uh, uh, crit rating or you could go for 98% outgoing um, if you could get both obviously that's a huge boost but um, I prefer being like more of a more of an overall support where I can really get those big heals out and take a lot of damage you know, with 6,600 health and 71% resistance, you know, that's a decent chunk, especially on bosses that don't pierce. Um, you know, you're a very strong support character that can really just keep anyone alive. Um, I've probably cut the majority of that because I just rambled on for like 20 minutes. And pretty much saying that I am done with trying to hatch for a pet because holy crap, I, I can't. Uh, it's been like two weeks, a um, couple days here and there. I just, I, I have no patience for it. Um, 